Keeping our files organized is super important when it comes to creating websites. So let's take a look at how we should do it. If you've been following along, you know that our websites need a folder to live in, uh, which we call the root directory. And this is where everything is living right now. So let's open that up. So I have my three files there and they're, you know, they're just floating around a little bit. Um, we need to organize our files better when we're doing a website. Keeping our files really well organized is very, very important. And it's going to make your lives much easier, especially as you carry on in this adventure of web design and things just get more and more complicated. So the first thing I'm going to recommend is making a folder for your images. I usually just call mine IMG. You'll see a lot of people doing that. If you want to call it uh, images instead, you can call it images. And I'm going to put my hamster in there. I have my index here and my page two. They are just going to stay there. In general, my HTML files are just going to all live with each other in the main part of my directory here and this subdirectory of my images. Another subdirectory that pretty much all your pages are going to have is a CSS. So I'm going to make a CSS folder right there. So I have my images folder, I have my new CSS folder, and we have nothing in the CSS folder yet. But starting in the next video, we're going to start playing with CSS a little bit. So very soon that folder will start getting used. And another folder that you'll probably start using at one point or another uh, is a JavaScript folder. So JavaScript, or what you'll see most of the time is just a JS. So we won't really be getting in any JavaScript anytime soon, but it's possible you see that folder. Now there's a reason that I'm keeping all these file names nice and short for my folders here. Uh, I'm not writing out images. I'm not writing out JavaScript. And it's because I have to write links to all the things I'm linking to. And the shorter the link, the easier it's going to be. Uh, so, you know, I'm lazy. I, I'm just keeping it as short as possible for myself. Another thing you'll notice is I'm sticking with lowercase on everything. It's important we keep the lowercase. A, it's just going to make it easier because we're standardizing everything and that just makes our life easier in general. The other reason this is uh, important is especially with our HTML files and our file names uh, such as hamster.jpg, we don't want to put in weird things. We don't want to cause any problems. And it's possible that if you give your files weird names that you run into problems. I mentioned that we have to have an index.html for the homepage and it has to be a lowercase index. This is important. I've had people put an uppercase I when we're in class and it just doesn't work. So um, when it's on the internet, it's going to work fine here. But as soon as you upload this to the internet, it's not going to be your homepage. The other thing is uh, we want to avoid spaces. So there's a reason I didn't uh, call this page two with a space in the middle. I put it as one word. If you really, really want to have spaces, put a hyphen instead. Spaces create these really weird things in your documents. So just to show you, actually, let's put my space. And let's open up that file. And let's go look here. And we can see page two. And there's this weird uh, percentage 20. And that's the symbol for the space. You can even see that popping up everywhere here. And when this is on a server, it could cause some problems. So it's going to work while it's on my computer, but I don't necessarily want to trust that working properly when I've uploaded it to the internet. And even if it does, uh, people will look up here for reference to where they are sometimes. And that's just really strange. Uh, you wouldn't want that as a link to your website, having a page two in there like that. So we avoid spaces. We avoid capitals. We avoid numbers. Uh, we avoid anything that's just not regular text. Keep file names short because it makes your life much easier and keep them descriptive. Page two is not really the best. It worked for this because it was just a, a, an example file. My home page will always be index. If I have an about page, it will be about.html. If I have a contact page, it's contact.html. I have the picture of my hamster. It's hamster.jpg. I'm going to have a CSS file to me, style.css. We keep it as simple and basic as possible, pretty much. You don't want to overthink things. That's it for this video. It's not very complicated, but it's important that we keep all of our things in the right place. Oh, actually, one more thing that I forgot. Uh, if I go back to my index.html now, you'll see that my hamster is no longer working. Uh, and because my hamster is no longer working, you can see that it actually says an adorable hamster in there because I used my alt text properly. So that's pretty cool. Uh, as I mentioned, if an image doesn't load, that will happen. And you'll also notice this picture changed. It's because of the source I used. It's sort of an image generation service, but we won't get into that. Um, what we will do is fixing this right here just really fast since we're here. 
So I'm going to do an open with Adam and we can come down here. So there's my first picture. That's the one at the top. And here's my hamster and my hamster doesn't live in this place anymore. Uh, remember, this is a relative link. So the way this used to be working was it was in this index file and then it was trying to find hamster.jpg and hamster.jpg was right here. So it was looking what, what around here is called hamster.jpg. There it is. And it was working. There's no more hamster.jpg here. I have to tell it where to find this file. So my image is in my image folder. So I'm going to add IMG forward slash. So now it's going, okay, I'm going to look for IMG. Oh, there's something called IMG. Let's go inside there. And inside there, I'm going to look for hamster.jpg. And now that's working. So if I save my HTML file, I refresh over here. Now you can see that my hamster is working properly. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or any comments, leave them down below. Like the video if you liked it. I'm really looking forward to the next video. We're going to start doing some CSS. The page is going to start looking good. We're going to add some colors and cool stuff to it. So I look forward to seeing you there.